I've been dancing for a long time. Like I think I started when I was nine. I did the audition for the Havo of music and dance and passed it. So after a second year of normal high school, I decided to change. I was really shy, wanting to do really well, of course. I didn't ever do professional dancing. I thought it would, like I suddenly had to put like the whole specific outfit and everything. And I was very nervous. I remember being quite nervous for the first few months. And then starting to adjust. I remember feeling so at home, like so comfortable with all the, the people, like really feeling like I actually had my place inside. And yeah, that's how it started. I enjoy moving like it's something I can't without. So this, I think I realized quite young. I, it wasn't necessarily dance always, but uh, I loved moving. And um, I also remember being inside this environment with people from all over. And uh, it's, really, it's really inspiring. Like it's so diverse and it's so hard and it's so beautiful and it's so challenging. <laughs> for me is a, physically a very strong place like you really learn your body you learn how to use it you learn the extremes the yeah for me it was really my adolescent growing up with them in a way which is quite quite special yeah like trying your boundaries see how far you can push them what is yeah all these things I think it's uh, it's all part of this place for me So yeah, so I'm dancing with Hoffa Schechter Company right now and for about four and a half years. It's that uh, excitement of being like all responsible and for something that you're, you're going to share, I think. Yeah, and the traveling with it, I think that it, it bonds somehow. I think it's something that really... Uh, yeah, you don't choose your colleagues, you know, and then once you're on the road, you get to learn them in so many different ways, which is really intimate. I enjoy being in the studio and trying to create something together and create something bigger than yourself, you know, like something that is just it's your life, it's a lifestyle, it's not just a, a job. I can't contain this life, like I can't, in 10 years I won't be able to, to do it and what then? That's a little bit the thing that, that is challenging I think, that you don't know where it's going, you never know how it's going to transform and you just know that you can't do this for the rest of your life, so <laughs> what will happen after? That's uh, yeah, big question. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.